Hi, my name is Emily Ellis and I'm a singer-songwriter and musician. Well, Alice is one of my middle names. I thought it generally goes with my aesthetic and personality. I kind of dress a bit more on the feminine side and I just like how the names Emily and Alice work together. Well, I've been making up songs since I was basically a very small child, except back then they were a lot worse. I started learning the guitar when I was eight years old, so that was when I started to write songs with accompaniments. Eventually it got to the stage where it is now, where I'm writing and recording. I really like the fact that you can connect to people. There are experiences in your song that other people might have had, but you don't really realize it until you reach out to them. I think one of my favorite things about performing live is hearing that people actually know your lyrics and singing them back to you and just seeing that enjoyment is a really amazing thing. Well, growing up, I was a bit of an edgy kid. I listened to a lot of pop punk bands like Billy Talent, but as I grew older, my taste basically diversified and now it's pretty much all over the place. Also, Kiari is an absolute queen. Her newer songs are really underrated. I'm always following her music and I really like her image and her style, so she's also a big inspiration of mine. And as for the album that I'm working on, I really look into a lot of Shibuya K bands, like Pizzicato 5 especially. I really am inspired by them too. Well, lately I've been listening to a lot of Eurobeat. I have been listening to a lot of the vocalists from A Beat C, especially the female vocalists, so ones like Elena Frattini, Domino, Annalie Gordon. I really like their vocals. I think they have really powerful voices. Well, I am going to be releasing the rest of the singles on my album, hopefully soon, once I get the art sorted out. Those will be put onto Spotify along with my current single that's out on there. And hopefully they will also be released as a full album along with some other tracks which aren't singles. In the long term, I'm hoping to leave the country, not permanently, but just to tour around. I think that would be a great opportunity for me. Well, when you write songs, trying to pick a favorite song is a little bit like picking a favorite child, but the single that I released recently, which is called Sugar and Vice, has been getting quite a bit of positive attention. Like, not necessarily a lot of it, but the attention that I have been getting has been positive, and I held on to it for a while before I released it, and in the times that I've shown it to people, they all seem to like it. So it's fair to say that it's probably one of my strongest songs overall so far. If you're trying to handle stage fright, just go to a party where nobody knows what the heck is going on. That's how I started and I'm pretty good with it now and I'm pretty confident, so that's a good tip. Also, if you're just starting out doing session vocals, it's good to do what I did and reach out to maybe a few producers that you might know who are also making music, who might be looking for vocalists because there might be a bit of money in it as well, who knows? Also, when you want to start writing songs, a good place to start is to write parodies. Just become Weird Al Yankovic and It'll sort itself out, trust me. Thanks so much, Mume, for giving me the opportunity to do this interview. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my handle is Sainanchan. Also, you can find my single by looking up Emily Alice on Spotify. This is Mume, Sainan, Emily Alice, signing out. Bye-bye.